hello friends today in this tutorial i will be showing you that how you can basically use the maps sdk library for android to basically embed a google map inside your mobile phone in android using java and basically you can uh, embed markers red markers whenever you press the button or simply tap on the mobile phone you can see on the emulator we are basically showing you this is the demo application we will be doing this you can basically build out uh, sim simply embed a google map here using a google api key you need to enable the api first of all and then you can simply embed your google map inside your android phone inside you can integrate this simply you can see we are using satellite map you can embed any map of your choice so a notification will also be sent here you will see a new marker has been there so this you can simply integrate how to integrate google maps inside your android application so all the source code is given in the description of the video guys i have written a complete blog post on my tutorial website the link is given in the description of the video so basically i have shown you step by step how to achieve this so now let's get started so the very first thing i will do i will delete all that stuff guys and start from scratch so what i will do let me just delete all this code and start from scratch let me also delete that implements combat act So the very first thing you guys we need to do is that let me just show you uh, you need to first of all go to activity sorry android manifest.xml so here you need to add these two permissions guys which is android permission access course location and the second permission is android permission access find location so I have given that and also you need to add this meta tag guys so here you will copy paste your own api key from google developer console so if you have an account here you need to simply enable that api so this is a very simple process so you just go to google cloud console and enable that api google maps sdk api for android and get your own api key so don't copy my api key but i will delete this api key after this video so basically inside this dashboard you will be go to library section and enable that api maps sdk you will see that for android i have already enabled that and then basically you need to get your own credentials and uh, click on that tab here and uh, you need to create a, your api key here click on this api key so this will create your own api key so simply copy paste this api key right here inside this tag here so that's all you need to go to now your uh, activity main.xml so here you simply need to paste this fragment guys we have given this fragment an id which is map underscore fragment so this is basically the name of the fragment you will see that and one more thing guys we need to have a external dependency which we are using for this tutorial so you need to go to your build.gradle.file your app level file which is build.gradle module app so here you just need to copy paste this line here which is implementation com dot google dot android gms play services maps 17.0.1 after that you just need to synchronize your just just click this button synchronize now and now this will download this dependency that's all so now after this guys we we can simply write the code inside our main activity.java file here and right inside this file guys we will basically have a reference for the google map so we can simply at the top we can say private and then we can import this google map dependency and we can call this as google map and here guys we can simply get the reference of the support map fragment this will be imported map fragment and we can typecast it so this will a slight complicated code but still you need to do it so 
here we are simply getting the reference of that element guys which we have declared inside activity xml file here you will see we are getting get support fragment manager and we are finding this using the id that we have given so if you check the id we have given the same id map underscore fragment so we are getting it id here that's all so this is simply creating we need to implement the methods which is on map click and on map ready so these two methods so whenever you click inside the map and whenever the map is ready so these two methods are there and now if you basically stop this application and if you try to run this application once again so what you will find out that your map is ready here you will see that the map is ready you can zoom in inside this map you can't place markers here so you can see if i click this inside the map the markers are not placing so for that we need to add the code inside whenever we click inside on map click and we also need to just uh, show the notification as well so when the map is ready guys what we need to do we need to simply say this dot google map is equal to google map that's all and then we need to set some properties first we need to set the map type so here you can change the map type guys let's suppose i need a different map type so we'll say google map map type hybrid or you can see now if you refresh it so what you will see there is a button out there apply changes so it is some functioning hot reload without having to rebuild the entire app so if you click the button you will now see a different app okay sorry i need to finish this so what we need to do is that we need to set the location we need to move the camera to a default location so whenever so you will see that guys basically we are providing a latitude and the longitude here to a fixed location and this we need to import this class camera update factory and basically it will import we need you can see we are providing the zoom level to 10 you can provide any zoom level and then we are setting this listener which is whenever we click the map so now if you again run this application so if you see what happened let me check the terminal here and here we let me run this application on map ready i think some problem is there guys i think what is okay sorry this need not have to be non null so just remove this and when we click them on inside the marker guys whenever we click inside the map we need to add this code so we need to basically add a marker so for adding this marker guys we will use this marker options class here you will see that we need to import this class and here we are simply having this title of the marker which is new marker the color of the marker will be red here you will see we are passing this options marker options and then also with the help of toast class we are simply showing a toast notification that's all and here also basically after you do this we need to load the map asynchronously so we need to paste this line i think that's why the error was taking place map fragment get map async just paste this line guys and this is basically now the code and now if you refresh it Uh, let me just uh, copy the code guys inside my blog post sometimes it can let me copy this so you also need to copy the same code uh, this is the correct code now and now if you refresh it let me run the app inside my phone guys let me run this image cropper screen cast so 
so i think some internet is gone here on my phone that's why it is not starting this application so in this way guys you can embed this uh, google map so thank you very much all the source code is given in the description of the video thank you very much for watching this video